But welcome back to my channel. Um, we missed last week because I just needed a break. You know, sometimes it's okay to take a break. Um, even God himself took a break, Break, okay? So, um, and we try to celebrate the Sabbath in my, in my home as much as we can. So I just needed a break. I, I was, I've been going since like January um, with life and filming and cooking and being a wife and being a mother, being a, a friend and being a daughter. Just, I'm tired. So I just needed a break last week. That's why we didn't have a video, but we are here now and it's just me, as you can see me, the Holy Spirit and um, our, my shadow. Just wanna give you an update on what's happening, but before we get into that, what are we eating today? I am eating uh, fried chicken with yellow rice, but this was, I know a lot of times people make their yellow rice with sazon, but I use either turmeric or curry. So I did jasmine rice, I didn't do curry, I did turmeric, I did herbs, basil, oregano, thyme, bunch of herbs, right? Fresh and dried. Uh, I put a little bit of saffron in there. Costco have a nice, it's a, it's expensive, but Costco have an um, saffron for like $20 and a jar is very, I mean, if you don't know, saffron is very expensive, but it's just a little bit of, a couple, a couple strings, you put it in there, it does what it needs to do. So saffron, um, sea salt, and I use, not sea salt, um, yeah, sea salt, and I used, um, what else did I put in here? I put a sea salt, oh, and I use ghee. Um, ghee butter um, as the, cause usually I'll go with olive oil, but I use ghee this time around. And that's the yellow rice. Um, so, let's take a bite. First, let's, 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 let's get our napkin, cause we, we, you know, we classy over here. Classy. Um, I actually haven't, what the, I, I have made this, but without the yellow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It kind of give me like a Middle Eastern vibe, like Middle Eastern kind of um, rice. As you all can see, like whenever somebody come on, I cook them something. You usually ask them what they would like to eat. And based off on that is what I cook them. But I feel like the part of me also like cooking, you guys are missing out on how I do these things, right? Because a lot of times I'll get questions, how did you make this? How did you make that? So I'm like, Oh, okay, me and my husband was talking about it, and it'll be a good idea to actually make the food that I cook for the guest like the week after. So going forward, I'm going to add the cooking part to the show to show you. Okay, last week you saw that I had fried chicken and yellow rice. How did I make it? You get it next week of how I made it, right? So that is something that we're going to incorporate in the show. So you guys are not just <laughs> watching us enjoy this bomb behind food, but also, my body, some of y'all hate when people talk and eat, hold on, but also, be able to watch it, watch, and watch a video on how to make it, so you can try it yourself, so you too, can virtually enjoy the food with us, right, <laughs> so that is the update that we are going to start doing, um, the update that is coming to the channel, Another thing I want to talk to you guys about, guys, hold on. I got I got water running down my neck because you know you're natural. When you're natural, you know you spray your hair with a little bit of olive juice. Um, not olive juice, aloe juice. It'd be running down your hair. Yo, I will never forget when I was on the train years ago when I first became natural and, you know, the whole community was talking, talking about how using oil for your hair is so great. It's so, it's, it helped your hair grow. Listen, I used to be in my scalp with freaking castor oil. I will never forget. I was on a train uh, one time, hot, sunny day, and I just felt something on my face. I felt something on my face. I'm like, what the heck is that? I'll go wipe it off. It's freaking oil just running down my face from my scalp. When I tell you embarrassed, and you hear me just taking tissue to just wipe it off, and people just looking at me, I'm just like, oh, this is so embarrassing. So that's what this olive, um, um, aloe juice running down my neck just reminded me of, all right? Being natural is a, is a whole process. It's it's a thing, okay? It's a whole process. It's dedication. And taking out my braids, going back to it, I'm just getting back, right back into the routine. So, I, I, I quickly want to tell y'all a story about something that happened this weekend. <laughs> I'm hiking embarrassed. No, not hiking. I'm low key embarrassed. But it is what it is. If you see me blinking a lot, I don't have any nerve nerve issues. <clears throat> That's not why. 
I just did something this weekend, or well, yesterday, that affected my eyes. So, <laughs> Friday, right? I was like, all right, I need to go get my eyebrows done. Because now that I have my natural hair, my hair changed, by the way, after I had the baby. I feel like my hair is more coarse. And I'm trying to figure out how to get it back to how it used to be. I'm thinking about just going back to doing henna's and all that stuff. But, so I'm trying to figure that out. So that's kind of messing with my confidence, right? And I tried this new cleanser from Biosense and it broke me out, which was surprising because I've been using other products from Biosense. It's great. So I was like, why am I breaking out? So this whole week, my between my face and my hair, I haven't been feeling myself. Like, you know, I haven't been feeling like, I've been feeling like, yo, you don't look all right. So Friday, I said, okay, let me get my eyebrows done because two of my friends are having birthday um, celebrations this weekend. So that, let me at least get my eyebrows done. And while I was going there, I said, like, oh, I should try to do my eyelashes again. Little backstory. I've done my eyelashes, and I spoke about it when my friend Kadeem was here two times, right? Um, I've done it multiple times with multiple different people, and I'm allergic to glue. Simple as that. It makes my eyes burn. It does. And usually, it will burn. It don't stop, though. Like, it will burn, and throughout, once it... Okay, so let's say if I, I, I take a shower or wash my face and water touches a little bit, my eyes will burn. But once I wipe it dry, I'll be good. But it's uncomfortable because I have to take a shower every day. My, and to deal with the burning eyes is annoying. So I did it once with the Koreans. That happened. I did it once again. That happened. This time I said, all right, I'm one of those people. I said, all right, let me try it again. Maybe third time is a charm. Or let me just, let me do my third time to see if I'm really allergic to this thing. So I went, got my um, brows done, and I was just like, all right, let me do lash it. They don't do the, and that's what, and I was, another thing, so I said, maybe it was the individual. Maybe I had to do the clusters. It would be a different story. She did it. And there was a couple of things that kind of was alarming, but I was just like, okay, maybe, I don't know, I don't do eyebrows. Maybe that's what they do when you're doing clusters. So they didn't cover my eyes with a tape like they usually would do if you're doing singles. But I was just like, maybe it's clusters, I don't know, whatever. So she did it. As she was doing it, my eyes started burning. And she gave me a fan. I went to, um, I don't want to say Indians, but let's just say um, Southeast Asians, okay? I'm not sure if they're Indians, Bangladesh, I don't know. So I don't want to claim they are Indian, they're not. So my eyes was burning, so she gave me a fan to fan my eyes to help with the burn. Okay, didn't think much of it. Um, she did the sh our eyelashes. My eyelashes look really, really good. And for the price, look really, really good. And the things when I went and asked if they had mint, because I was willing to pay the hundred something dollars, but they didn't have. I said, all right, fine. So I'll go with the cheaper one that is not mint. Cool, whatever. It looked really great. I came home. I'm dancing with my baby. We listen to worship music, running around, dancing, acting a fool. <sighs> my eyes is still burning. I'm just like, all right. It's not that big of a deal because I've experienced this before. So I'm talking to my friend Ayana. I'm telling her like what the, what's happening. She was like, okay, it's been a couple of hours on your eyes shouldn't be burning. I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm still going through the day. This is like around f five, six o'clock. Nine o'clock comes. I'm watching my YouTube girls, right? My homesteaders. I'm watching it. I'm just, I just catch myself going like, okay. I get on my phone to go on IG and I'm just like, my husband's talking, I'm just like, I say, what the hell is going on? Okay, so I'm looking at the words on the book on the coffee table and it looks blurry. I'm like, um, still super chill about it. <laughs> so Ayana texts me like, so how was it now? I was like, the burning is chill now, but I'm seeing double. <laughs> she was like, wait, what? So immediately, immediately she calls me and she's like, what the heck is happening? Told her what happened. I said, I'm seeing double. Like, and then at this time I was in the bathroom. I was like, like, I got 10 toes on one foot. She said, like, girl, you do not have 10 toes. You got only five toes. What the heck? She said, no, you have to go to urgent care. I said, urgent care is closed. Cause now it's like 10 o'clock. I said, urgent care is closed. So, first I was just like, I'm not going to an urgent care. It's not that deep. It's just, I'll be fine. I'm just going to sleep it off and then wake up in the morning. Hopefully, everything should be fine. She's like, no, you have to go to urgent care. Which means sleep it off. She was just sitting there like, how are you mad chill about this? Are you crazy? Because the whole time, I'm like seasoning chicken. I'm chilling. She's like, girl, what? 
why you're not alarmed? Why you're not panicking? Like, what the heck? Because the whole time I could hear my mother's my mother's voice in my head, like, I see an idiot. Who told you to go at this onto your eyes? Now look, like, I just see her just roasting me. So I'm laughing the whole time because I thought it was funny. Like, sis, you really... So, so she, um, she said, yo, go to urgent care. I said, urgent care is closed because now it's 10 o'clock. She said, no, you have to go to the emergency room. I said, that's a bit much, sis, like, a bit much. And she's, we were on the phone for like hours. She's still trying to talk to me. But as the minutes go by, my vision just keep getting blurrier and blurrier. I was just like, hmm. But the whole time, I'm still not alarmed because I felt like God told me not to do it. Because as I was walking to the salon and I started thinking about getting my lashes done, I felt like God was, it, it kind of brought a verse back to me about women not wearing makeup or whatever. I don't really remember that verse, but I was like, would God be pleased if I did this? Like, is this flattery? Not flattery, but is this like enticing to men? I don't know. Right? I don't know. So I was just like, oh. it's just lashes. It's not that big of a deal. Fast forward back to the present, to, to what I was saying. So the whole time she's saying it, I'm like not panicking because I'm just like, mm, you idiot. That's what you get. Because God was definitely telling you not to do it, but you definitely did not listen. Now look at you. You're about to lose your eyeballs over some lashes. You hear me? So, <laughs> I was just like, I was like, well, we're here now, my man's like, it is what it is. So, and she's not letting up. She's like, no, you have to go to the ER. Da, da, da. So, eventually, when I realized, like, the, the vision was really getting bad, like, everything was doubled, like, it was, it was, my vision was getting bad. I said, all right, look, it's my eyes. I can't, I can't be playing my eyes like that. Like, you know, no break, whatever. Eyes, no. So we packed up, I packed up everybody. My husband was just so graceful. And he's just like, he hate lashes. He's just like, what the, what is wrong with you? Why, like, why did you do, who asked you to do this? Why do you, why? You know that it's not good for you. First of all, it hides your eyes. So why do you even want to do that? And you know it's not good for you, but yet you still go ahead and do it. Now look at you, right? So I'm just like, we woke up the poor baby that was sleeping so well. He crying. I feel so bad because we woke him up. We go to ER. He says, so what, bring, your, what brings you in here? And I was just like, um, I'm kind of embarrassed, but uh, I got my lashes done. I think I'm allergic. She's like, oh, okay. Quickly, the emergency room was great. Got in there, told him what happened. The doctor checked. Okay, so it was a, the, the um, PA was an older white man. He said, wait, what? He didn't know, he older, like, we talking sister. He, he don't know what's going on. He's like, you did what? And I told him, I was like, yeah, it's a thing girls do. And he's like, oh. So how does it work? That's he's like, oh, he flushed my eyes, he numbed my eyes, and he flushed the um, he numbed my eyes, he checked to see if my cornea was scratched or anything like that. Thank God everything was alright. But at this time I was still brain. But when he numbed it, it it made it better. So the black girl he said, Well, um and they test my vision, you know, I have the letters on the wall, you have to read it. Yeah, after the second line, I couldn't see nothing. Everything was blurry. I say, bro, I'm a 2020 vision girl. What the heck is this? And to anybody, everybody, and anybody that wear glasses, I am so sorry. Y'all live like this? Wow. That is not the way. Like, I don't know how y'all, I mean, humans are that, but I couldn't function. I was so miserable. I Miserable in the way that when I was like, by myself and my thoughts, I'm like, this is so uncomfortable. I hate being uncomfortable physically. I was so, I was not feeling it. But the fact that y'all live like just can't see anything without glasses, I'm so sorry. Wow. I, will carrots help? Because that is not the way. Okay? So they tested my thing. I told you I couldn't read after the second um, thing. I was just like, yo, this is crazy. So I said, well, let's see. I'm going to speak to the ophthalmologist and see what else we could do. So the black girls heard the story. They say, they all got lashes. I'm like, well, how the heck? Y'all can wear lashes and I can't wear lashes. Everybody else can wear lashes and be fine with it. Here I go wear lashes. My eyeball's about to fall out. So she's like, okay, so what happened? I told them what happened. They was like, I told the price. She's like, I said, look, I was willing to pay the expensive price, but they didn't have the mink, so I ended up just getting what they had, which is the the clusters, all right? She said, no, why the heck would you go to the Indians for that? I was just like, I don't know. They do my brows. They do a great job by, by, at it. I said, you can't lie. These lashes look great. 
The side effects is horrible, but these lashes are great. So she's like, I just flush out your eyes, clean it, and you'll be fine. The girl's like, this happened to me before. I said, like, yeah. She said, like, you're probably allergic to the tape or the glue. I said, she ain't using no tape, so it's the glue. She said, yeah, it happened to me. I said, yeah, but did you get blurry vision though? She said, no, I didn't have that type of rides. Two different things. He said, yeah, because they just flushed out because these they would take off their lashes. At that point, I'm like, I thought so. I said, they could take it off because my eyes were more important than looking good. Like, I cannot. Um, so they um, cleaned it. I came home, right? I came home. I was feeling better. I went to sleep. I woke up, and I couldn't open my eye. Like, I couldn't keep my eye open. My eyes felt so heavy that I couldn't keep it open. So the whole time, for a good 30 minutes, I'm just like, trying to keep it open. I look up, heavy. Like, I could only look like this. Walking outside and getting the fresh air, and it's been raining there all day, that helped. But I'm going to be inside most of the day. And most of the days to come. So I'm like, every time I'm inside, it's like, it flares. I don't know. It just activates, I don't know, the glue or whatever. So I'm just like, you know what? I was just sitting here, I was just like, Nah, I'm gonna go get this thing removed. Call the lady. She was scared. She was panicking. I said, Look, I'm not here to sue anybody. I'm, that's not my mission in life. I just wanna come so you can remove it. All right? So, I removed it. I have on lashes now again. Don't judge me, but this is just a strip. Because it's removed, I feel so bare. And I'm going out today. My hair is pulled back. I just need to. I can't wear mascara. If I could wear mascara, I would definitely would have worn mascara and left the. um the strip on them but because my eyes are so irritated already i didn't want to put any more chemically filled anything on my eye my actual lit uh, my actual lashes that's why i just did the strip because it's on my skin it's on my lashes so that's why i have to strip so um <laughs> here damon love to say oh yeah we are women just never happy what god gave y'all listen one thing this thing taught me was one we need to do better with listening if god gives you a warning it's for a reason because that thought of that verse did not come to mind for no reason. It was for a reason. And I should know. Hey, I think your Lord, your God is trying to tell you, don't do that one. Did I listen? No. He knows the future. He knew that was going to happen. So I couldn't even be mad. I'm like, you know, you deserve that because you didn't listen. Right? So that's one. Two, it made me understand how a lot of women... I guess men too sometimes, but mostly women end up doing these cosmetics things to themselves. Because, you know how saying would take one foot and just drag it? It went from just, my hair don't feel right. My hair don't look right. I don't, look, don't like how it look. My skin is, I got, and the, honestly, the breakout was not much, but I'm just not, I'm not a person that break out. I don't have acne. So one pimple or two pimples is a lot for me, right? I know, I know, I know. It just, when you're not used to it, you're just not used to it. So it went from that to like, oh, you got pimple. Oh, now you, mm, you're not really that cute. Yeah, this week, mm -mm, your face was not given. You know, you're not. And then it's, he starts messing with your self-esteem, even when you have a high self-esteem, right? But those little things, I was, and I'm just like, oh, now nah, let me get that. So I just, it just made me have sympathy. Still don't agree with it. Have sympathy for those women who go out that do all these stupid, crazy surgeries to themselves, to your body, which is harmful. Because I basically expose my eyeballs to toxins. Because those glues are just nothing but toxins. That, them lashes are straight plastic and a bunch of toxins that's in your eye. You only got one set. You know, so women go and put all these plastics and chemicals in their body that's harming their body to for the sake of feeling better about themselves. You know, um... And that was just, monsters not even that deep, you know. But imagine the people, the women that have a bad, horrible upbringing, always were told they were ugly or they weren't good enough. Like, that's a deep trauma that will cause somebody to go do those things themselves. And it's like, why? Because I was talking to my friend Salam, and she was also talking about, yeah, she went, she literally did the same thing I did, went through the same thing she went through, except for the blur vision. And she was like, yeah, that's when I knew, like, yeah, this is not for me. I'm like, why do we do this to ourselves? Like, I feel like women, we do the most to ourselves. Between the nails, and our nails are breaking smack in the middle of our nail bed. We are bleeding. Or we do hairstyles that are too heavy, too tight. Now we got freaking alopecia. Or we got 
some type of bleeding going on. What else do we do? There's so many things that we do to ourselves that harm us for the sake of beauty. And sometimes it's like, I know they say beauty is pain, but sometimes those pains are not worth it. Sometimes just being naturally you is beautiful enough, right? So it's just like, it just made me think, like, because I feel like all the men usually are just like, you don't have to do that. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. You actually look better without it. But we still do it because we think that's beautiful. And then we go through all these medical issues because of all the things that we do to our body. From the cosmetics to using all these and I use some of these as we speak, using all these uh, 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 lotions and makeup and all that stuff, all that chemicals. Men don't be doing all that crap. Um, hairstyles there's, is not good for our, our hair. Things that harm, harm us or really messes up our skin and our body. We do all of that. And it's just like, but why? Meanwhile, these men could walk around with scruffy beards, bushy eyebrows, and we'd be like, oh, they're so sexy. Meanwhile, we are out here with medical issues because just, we got to chill. That's the moral of the story. We have to chill sometimes. Certain things are not necessary. It just, we got to chill sometimes. It's okay to wear, wear natural hair sometimes. It's okay to wear natural lashes sometimes. Now, if you've been wearing lashes for a long time and your eyel eyelash is bald, okay, eyelids, maybe... Be bald for a little bit so you can grow back in. Okay. Um, it's good to leave your nail beds alone and let it breathe. Like this winter, I left, I took off my no, any nail polish and just let, let my nail bed just be. Just no polish, nothing, just be. So it can regrow and just be healthy, you know. Um, there's a reason why men also, there's a reason why men always have better, better and longer eyelashes than ours. Because we be doing too much. From the mascaras to the lashes, eyeliners, all of that. Just... Sometimes we just got to chill and just be. You get what I'm saying? Just be. Um, there's some, a lot of things I'm minimized on. Like, I don't wear perfume that often anymore because it has, it's perfume basically chemi sense of chemicals, right? It's, it's, a, it's a hormone disruptors, candles. I chilled out. I've really fallen back a lot with candles. I only burn candles, like, when I'm doing my dinner parties. But on the regular, I do humidify it. But I don't really do candles like that anymore. And if I do, I have to look at the ingredients. Is it soy wax? Is it coconut wax? What kind of, are you using essential oils? Or are you using fragrance or parfum? Because parfum just could be any type of chemicals, right? Um, well, my body wash, our body wash, natural. Skincare, as natural as possible. Use biosense or like a cure. Or, there's so many things that we double down and went the natural route because there's a lot of chemicals and a lot of things that we use on the regular. So if you could like bring some of these things back to natural, natural, uh, uh, natural things, you will help yourself in the long run. So y'all, that is my story for, for today. So, um, a couple of hours ago, I was in the ER looking like a doofus with be beautiful eyelashes, but can't keep my eyes open or just, just shameful. <laughs> and I cannot wait to tell my parents. I know they're going to roast me. And I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? And I have the nurse to still put a strip. But I'm going on. I can't. You get what I'm saying? Especially my hair pulled. I just can't. But. I know God is in heaven probably like. Yeah, you're mad dumb for that. Like. Mad dumb. And rightfully so. Okay? Because <laughs> he definitely told me to not do that. Now, definitely do not listen, and this is the result. So, sometimes when we don't listen, we have eyeballs about to fall out. We falling physically and literally. <laughs> okay, things just be happening. So, um, yeah, guys, that is my story for today. That's what happened. Um, that's my little lesson that I want to share with y'all. And um, look out for the cooking videos, okay? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very chill video, and see you next week.